www.ghsermons.com You can't focus on just one aspect of your life and say, this is how I am. You could build more capacity. You could work on your perspective. You have your emotions to deal with. You have your intellect to deal with. You have your finances to deal with. You have your soul, your spirit. You have different parts of your being. And you can enlighten and educate yourself simultaneously in all these aspects. You have to educate yourself holistically. You have to put everything in the equation. You, you, you have to build that weight. You have to build that understanding, that capacity. Imagine you're just desiring something. You're just hoping for something. If you build the adequate stuff, it's more of an integration, meaning there's a place for wisdom, there's a place for power, there's a place for knowledge, there's a place for alliances, there's a place for, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. You have to put it together. And when you put it together, you're integrating it. You're checking your season, you're checking your time, you're checking your skill, you're checking your mindset, you're checking your spirit, you're checking your energy, you're checking all of that. And then you decide, let me pull the trigger. But you can't just tell me because you are desiring things to happen. Between your desires and the manifestation, it's a whole integration. It's a whole integration. And that is why we need more holistic education. Some people can be intellectually sound but emotionally depressed. Some people can be emotionally good, but intellectually handicapped. Some people can be, um, they might have a lot of knowledge, but they lack will. I believe every man should be a fighter. You, if, you are, if you've not begun to fight in your life, then you're not yet a man. You have to fight. You have to fight. There's a lot to fight. You have to fight your fears. You fight your addictions. You fight your failures. You fight every obstacle. You keep fighting. You need that determination. You need that certainty, you need that courage, you need that anchor. There's too much winds, there's too much storms, there's all manner of stuff in this world. But you need to be a fighter. I don't see any legend. You look at Elon Musk. He failed, he failed. The rocket went, it did, it, the rocket failed, the first rocket failed, the second rocket failed. And then eventually they went off. So you have to realize he's a fighter. People that have become successful are those that were able to fight. They were able to fight their own beliefs. They were able to fight their fears. They were able to fight the anxiety. They were able to fight the status quo. They were able to fight the projections made against them. They were able to fight. You have to fight. You can't surrender to failure. If you want to surrender, surrender to strength. Surrender to God. Surrender to the greatness. Don't surrender to victimize. Don't surrender to condemnation. In both cases, there is a surrender. People don't just realize it. You just have to choose who to surrender to strength, to knowledge, to wisdom, to that inner conviction, that fearless conviction, trust me, you're going to make a difference. You surely make a difference. This life, everyone, everyone has to work on their attitude. Everyone has to work on their inner self. You have to work on your inner self because there comes a time in the journey where if you only rely on your physical senses and your path, you might get discouraged. But there must be a conviction within. There has to be an answer within. There has to be a light within. There has to be. And that is where the scripture says, Greater is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is in me than he that is in the world. There is light inside of you. There is an awareness inside of you. There is faith inside of you. There is a force inside of you. And that force is what makes you going. That force is what makes you much forward. And everybody has it. Those who have succeeded in sports, succeeded in entertainment, succeeded in the political side, in the economical side, in business side, they all had it within. They had to descend the season and times. Look at the billionaires that dropped out of school. They dropped out at the time because they discerned that this is the time. I have to make a difference. They knew the difference between school and life. Just a lot of people have not yet discerned it. Some people are in church or in any other you know, religious entity. But they have to discern, they have to learn something out, and they have to know where to apply it in your life. If they don't realize where to apply it, then they're deceiving themselves. There comes a time where you realize that your failures is actually an investment. And when you get the right lessons out of your failures, then you can cash out. Because those lessons can be utilized, can be poured in, can make a difference in your tomorrow. You can scale up, you can put in the right chemistry and get a bigger opportunity. And because you failed before, you know exactly what to do this time. But if you don't learn from it, you are steps behind. If you learn from them and you don't make good use of the lessons, then you're wasting the time. Probably you're going to educate and enlighten somebody else 
with those lessons. But then you should be like 90 or 100 or probably 150 years old to just do that. If you have time on your hands, use those lessons and apply them in your own life. Every great and mighty person has failed somewhere along the line. People have failed businesses, people have failed songs, people have failed in games, people have failed in sports. But they never end there. The greatest and the mightiest and the legends are not the ones who never failed or the ones that were without challenges. They were just like everyone else. They probably came from a divorce home. Some of them were probably adopted kids. Some of them did not have that opportunity. But they had an attitude. They had a determination. They had the courage. They had that determination. They had the zeal. They searched for the wisdom. They searched for the knowledge. They, pulled, they put in the trigger again. They pull in the trigger again. They pull in the trigger again. They keep pulling the trigger. And then they overcame the mountains. They overcame the obstacles. They overcame the challenges.